can I uh, create this Kura setting for the SK one? So I go over here, add machines, add a non automaker printer. Then I go down at a non network printer. Then I go down to this two trees. Uh, just choose uh anyone who will do sapphire or whatever. Just any setup, or you can just custom. Up to you. So I will just come here and add two trees. SK one. So I go to add. Then I go in here and change your figure. Then I think in your USB you have one start code and end code. So I'll just copy the start code. Very simple. Control C copy. Go over here. You have to select all, so control A, control B. So you already copy it. Okay. Then you go to the end code, which the same thing. Control copy. Go over here, control A, select all, control V, copy. So paste it. So once you copy and paste it, and click next. So you have a profile look like this. And in your USB, you should be able to see that actually they have this Kura config. They have all the settings. But you need to one by one open. So we go to File, we go to Download, Kura config, go in here, one by one. So you open as project. Open, open. So once you open, you go in here. You should be able to see if you can if you can see you have a page like this you can show to show custom and the profile drop down menu you'll have this 0 0.08 is extra fine but of course you can create your own you can amend your own it's up to you so you have to import all slowly one by one Once you already import all and it should work, you can just select any parts that you need. So for example, I design some things. I can just throw in, slice it, and in preview, same thing. So I can save. What happened is, if you are using other versions like the Sapphire Pro or whatever, just to show you, if I'm using Sapphire Pro, now it's 2 hours 56. Uh. If I use Sapphire Pro, <laughs> 8 hours plus. So, can you imagine that how much time you save if you are using SK1?